Hello, welcome to this vlog. It's a bit more of a catch up this one because it's been a busy few weeks. Um, we go to Whitby Goth Weekend. Uh, as you know, Whitby is famously associated with Dracula and it's a really dramatic coastal historic town uh, in Yorkshire. It's absolutely beautiful and twice a year there's actually uh, a goth weekend we went to the Halloween one which was amazing and I just wanted to kind of explain a little bit about why we went as well and um, my daughter who is studying fine art is really interested in folklore especially uh, North Lincolnshire folklore and over the summer um, and the following weeks she has created a kind of magical gown um, and what was lovely was that myself and my mum so like three generations um, were involved in embroidering and working on this gown uh, and we spent many many happy hours stitching and chatting and drinking tea and laughing and having deep conversations and all sorts of things it was amazing and it was something in itself that was really magical so um yeah i hope you enjoy that it's it's actually one of my favorite places at the fa my favorite time of year to go so hope you enjoy that also i wasn't going to share this here but i am challenging myself to face a block that i have kind of well, I think I've always known I've had this block, but I've started journaling again most days, just even if I just write for a couple of minutes when I get up in the morning, just dumping my thoughts down in a scrappy old notebook just to clear my head. And what I'm finding is other things come up, like things I really want to do and things that I know I have to face. And one of the things that I know I have to face, and it is especially... Um, it's especially apparent at this time of year, coming up to Christmas, is I have a really big problem about talking about my shop. See, my palms are already getting a little bit sweaty. Uh, talking about my shop and, and basically the things that I sell. Um, and... I do find this really difficult and I know a lot of creatives who have created businesses find this difficult and I think I'm now I might be wrong and please comment below your experiences if you have a creative business or you find it difficult to share things about your own work I I actually think it's particularly difficult for people with a creative business either purely as a fine artist or selling uh, crafts or design work or merchandise so I have prints and merchandise that I have my artwork printed on so I have a little shop as well as painting. The reason why I think it's really difficult to talk about those things I don't know I might be wrong I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly but you know if you create something there is something of you in that piece of work and it's really blooming hard to talk about it uh, and I have recently and in the past you know I've had people that have followed me on Instagram or they watch these videos but I'll actually get messages from people saying I didn't know you had a shop I didn't know you sold your work and I'm like yeah it's completely my fault the other thing that drives me mad is that I, the people I follow, I want to know what work they're releasing into the world. And, you know, I'm interested. It doesn't mean that I'm going to automatically buy it, but I support the work. I, I, I could make a nice comment. I could at least look at the work. I, I, I want to be informed of what's going on. And I certainly don't think about those people as being pushy or salesy. So it's a real, it's a conundrum it's a real conundrum. Um, also, the reason why I've, I'm going to put this little snippet of video on in a minute, which 
I might edit this out, I might not do this. Anyway, if I do, I'm going to put a little snippet of film on in a minute because um, if you don't know, I have a roughly monthly newsletter and instead of writing the whole newsletter, what I prefer to do is I make a little separate kind of unlisted YouTube video and I send the newsletter subscribers um, a link. So we have a monthly chat, a cup of tea and a chat. I find that much easier than writing it down. Um, and this is a snippet from this month's newsletter talking about the same thing. But what I actually decided to do, and I called this newsletter Ripping Off the Plaster because I got so annoyed with myself a few days ago that I thought, do you know what? I am going to, I'm going to talk about the shop in my newsletter and I'm going to probably do it in the most embarrassing way because in the past, anything I'm frightened of, let's just say apart from spiders, I'm not going to do this with spiders, okay, um, <laughs> is to jump in with both feet. So, yeah, if I show you this, oh God, I can't believe I might be doing this. If I show you this, I'm just giving you that little backstory because, yeah, I've made myself seriously cringe. Anyway, I put this in the newsletter. So, I just wanted to say... <laughs> oh, do you know, I'm praying the postman doesn't knock on the door at the minute because this this is a strong look. This, this will take some uh, explaining. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be brave. I'm just going to say... Um, I've got lots of things to decorate yourself or your home and your tree for Christmas and lots of other things that you can give to your friends and family. So, <laughs> so I've done it. <laughs> I am expecting uh, hundreds of other subscribes after this. Uh, yeah so anyway there you go um we've got we've got party lurcher we've got mama moon bear i mean you could wear them as earrings i have got party lurcher and acrobat mice as actual earrings unless you know you wanted to make the statement <laughs> i'm sorry oh Oh dear. Anyway, there you go. Uh, yeah, I'm completely, I'm completely dying inside. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's lots of things for, lots of things for Christmas and just hopefully things that will put a smile on your face. And if nothing else, I hope this has put a smile on your face. <laughs> right, this is going now. Well, we're here. Whitby Goth weekend and I'm just following my daughter in her costume that she's made and I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to have to put in the bin again. Aww. Look, it's Bob Ross. <laughs> Father, sing. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Caught. 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 Just your normal Whitby pub with the locals hanging out together. Hey. Thank you. To the gothic events, Lottie. Hey. Fancy seeing you here. I know. Can't they ace? Yeah. 
Bit of a story to tell. Yeah, so you have made your own handmade that. I ordered the mask from America and it was quite plain. Yeah. So I've handmade it, it's taken me about a year and I've got real crow's feet, real wings, real pheasant feathers and everything else. I actually found this skull, wherever it is, last night. So I put that on. Oh that's this amazing. This used to be a curtain in a charity shop, cost me five pounds. Have you got a character's name? Yeah, this is Mother Earth with a twist. I'll try to get better at my dog breathing. Hello, you're the star of the show. Did you make your dragon? Yeah, yeah, I just knocked it up. That's amazing. How long did it take you to make? Uh, about two nights. What? That's insane. Oh, thank you very much. No Are you trying to climb the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Leaning over a wall. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful Whitby. <laughs> Favourite window in Whitby. <laughs> Googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word thank you have you enjoyed it today Ian? yeah it's been very good <laughs> oh no <laughs> ah who's this oh you know when you see an old empty shop and you think oh god that would be perfect if, oh, if I could have a Mrs. Bertima shot, look at that. Oh, oh God, Ian's just pointed this out. Look at that. Oh, oh that's amazing, look at that. I think they're the best pumpkins I've ever seen. Well, it's been the end of a good day at Whitby. Well, if you're still my friend and you stay till the end, oh, I like that. If you're still my friend and you stay till the end, you know what you deserve. Oh no, it doesn't rhyme with the uh, custard cream anyway. You know what you deserve. The biscuit. Oh no, that doesn't, that doesn't rhyme. No, I can't think of a rhyme. Anyway, you know what you deserve. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. Um, I was going to say, please write a comment or say hello, but I don't know after this. I don't know after this one. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Cheers, Chuck. Bye.